some of these videos that we're posting might not really, folks might not know how to engage the subject matter. You know, it might seem like strange subject matter. Like if we look at this right here, it's some ancient Egyptian stuff, right? Um, but there's a spiritual Egypt. But anyway, not even to get all into that right there, I want to touch on knowledge is power. Right? A statement that many of us um, have used and you hear many folks talk about, yeah, knowledge is power. But where does that statement come from? What is the real um, origin of that particular statement that knowledge is power? Now, in our system of things, they call it mythology, ancient mythology. This is Tehuti here, right? Tehuti or Judy, Judy or Dehuti, you understand, or DVD or, or David, for those who understand that mystical and some might say mythical link of, of Tehuti and the Psalms. Mm -hmm. The Psalms of David. But here, let's touch on knowledge is power, right? Well, we put this verse right here as a kind of a key when we look at the Ethiopic code. In a yewa belibema tehuta nena, that's uh, Mateo's Wengel, or that's Matthew's Gospel, Asra Asraan, uh, chapter 11, Raf Asraan, and Kuter Hayazet Eng, verse 29. So if you check that out, in the gospel, let's see if we have a footnote here. We're in the Shimo because this is a, 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 a sabbatical, a sabbatical time right here. All right, let's go to the let's go to the bottom of this page right here. Okay. All right. So, so when you go when you go there in the scripture, you'll find it. But let's get to knowledge is power. All right, knowledge is power. So we have this kind of, here we go, right here, knowledge. All right, there we go. Knowledge is power. So let's, uh, let's uh, zoom out, zoom out for a moment. All right, knowledge is power. Here's the statement that you've heard so much so so much about here's the actual statement we want to investigate this because you know you can hear stuff but do you what you know what do you what do you know so you you heard that knowledge is power but do you know its origin do you know the origin of this statement or what does it really mean now here's the statement mm -hmm. here's the statement in its original Let's say Latin, right, in the original Latin. So let me get this book, Amo, Amas, Amat, and more. Because you better, you better understand Latin, right, in this Western Gentile New World Order. You need to have a basic working knowledge of Latin. There's a couple of good books out that have some of the popular sayings. A lot of sayings in law and a lot of terminologies in medicine concern Latin. Now, one of the first Rastafari proclaims a Rastafari um, Brother Ganganguru Mara, also known as Leonard Percival Howell, he had stated that um, we must, let's see, what's the statement exactly, that, um, that uh, we can't follow Babylon's, uh, Babylon's doctors and lawyers. They will fake you to death. Now, what's the key with the Babylon um, medical, right, the medical conspiracy against God and Christ, against his majesty, and the legal conspiracy, the law, right, the law. So we study Torah, and we actually have this in our, in all of our Torah portions, we put this particular statement on one of the um, kind of like uh, pages, you know, introduction pages, and it's important to understand the meaning of this. It's in the Latin, it's namus ipsa, or ipsa, Scientia potestas est, potestas est, nam et ipsa scientia potestas est. Now, folks will say, oh, this is all Greek. No, it's all Greek to you? No, this is Latin. This is Latin. In the higher 
echelons of education, those of you who went to school, college, university, you know you've had to you've had to learn some Latin, at least functional Latin, at least some 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 phrases. Now the real key, right? The real key to the mystery, right? The, even the mystery of iniquity is contained in the language, right? The knowledge of the language. So we're going all all the way to the real root. And we're taking this particular statement right here that um, knowledge is power, right? You've heard knowledge is power. Now, some, some lack discipline, right, that discipleship or that discipline, and what they will say is that information. Information is not the same as knowledge. Let us understand this very clearly, that information is not the same as knowledge. So folks will say, well, information is power. No. It's not, it's not the same. In fact, intelligence agencies have to gather intel, right, which is kind of like information, a, a series of information, different bits and bytes and everything, and then they have to put it together. Just like you might be surfing the Internet or YouTubes or going here and there, and you're getting little bits of information. Do not deceive yourself into believing, into be believing that the information that you're gathering is knowledge. You have to make knowledge out of it. So the intelligence agencies will even say, all right, um, we have to, um, you know, we got this information, but they have to analyze it, right? They, ha they have to see how it connects, if it does connect, if the information can hold up, you know, with other information, right? If, if it's verifiable, they have to vet the information. This is what a lot of folks don't do. Right? A lot of y'all don't do this, and I'm trying to encourage y'all into doing this. So you, you get to know the truth. When the Moshiach, right? when Adonai Yeshua, our Moshiach, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, Jesus Christ, when he says, ye shall know the truth, right? and the truth shall set you free. How, how are you able to know? The key operative word is know, right? is the da'at. Right, the da'at, that's that, that's that sifarot on the Kabbalistic tree, the tree of life, which they veil, that knowledge, right, that knowledge is, is hidden. What is that hidden knowledge? They say it's gnosis. In the New Testament, it speaks about the pseudonymous, right, knowledge, uh, science falsely so-called, science falsely so-called, or ignorance, right, or that which pretends to be knowledge, scientia, and, he, and here's the key word. Here's the key word that you find, brothers and sisters. You find this key word right here. Let's put this over here. You find this key word, um, scientia, right, scientia. Recognize that Yeshua said you should know, scientia. You have this word in the Bible one time. This is the same word that we have where it says the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It's like the Internet, right? You find good things and you find bad things. Right? You find good things and you find evil things. You find true things and you find false things out there. But, but how, what do you know? See, that's the key. What do you know? See, there is good information out there and there's bad information out there. Now, if you think that every bit of information is knowledge, then you fall short of the real glory of this particular statement of truth. This statement of truth properly interpreted, nam et ipsa scientia potestas est, which Be'amorinya in them heart we've translated as ilk etim begmo be'arasu Sultan Hono. What does this mean? It's knowledge, right? Knowledge for knowledge, for knowledge, for knowledge too, for knowledge also is itself power. For knowledge too is itself power. But power in what sense? See, most folks, when they think of the word power, in an English or Western Gentile sense, they just think of power. I mean, most of the youths and people have been so dumbed down when they think of power, they think of power rangers or they think of maybe power like the electricity, you know, power on their laptop or power on their, on their um, cell phone or mobile device. But they don't understand that power is a duality, right, of power. 
right? There is, there is power, which is that, which is that uh, what is power defined as? The ability to get work done, right? You know, energy. In other words, power in the sense of energy is the ability to get work done, right? And then you have, you know, we're, we're similar to strength in, on that level. Then you have the other word for power, which is sultan ba'amrinya, which is authorization. I used this example earlier. I hope I could um, repeat it as I said it before um, to share this with you as, a, as an example so you can understand how this works. This, this statement is not knowledge is power. It's for knowledge in itself, in itself, in that knowledge, information, once again, is not the same as knowledge. Even the intelligence agency, they get, in, they get information. They get info confidential informants, other kind of information, little bits and bites, and they have to put it together. They have to vet it. They have to see what sort of an intel, right, to say what sort of an overstanding or what's, what can they know from this. Of course, okay, they heard this, they heard about that, and that might be a possibility and such and such. So they put it together and they vet it. You understand? You know, was it to find the truth, to know the truth for yourself. You might find a video, even this video. How do you know whether it is, it is true? What do you know of the truth of this? And what will you get to know for yourself? The only way you can know it for yourself is to vet and weigh this information. But you can't confuse the information, right, for power. It's not information, it's power. Those folks that have said that and, and those of you who might believe that information and knowledge is the same thing, that's why you don't know what is so very easy to know because it's right in front of your face, right? This is where it says forever learning but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So they got a lot of information, you know. Some information is true, some is false. It's like the, if I said that the, com the computer, to use a, a similar a likeness of this, the computer, right, is a um, – the computer is a – is communication. If I said the computer is communication, right? Now most folks will say, yeah, that's true. The computer got a laptop, got a got a cell phone, got a computer, you know, and and the, it, that's right, you know, that, that that's the information technology, so forth and so on. Information, right? Information, not knowledge. Information, information technology, information society, right? Now the computer is communication, uh, to say a communication device, right? But you might have a computer, right? And you can type on it. You can open different videos and audios and pictures and, and, and all that kind of stuff, right? But suppose you don't have any Wi-Fi or Internet. You're not really communicating. Get, you, you know what I'm saying? You have a communication tool, but you're lacking the ability to communicate because you're not online, right? And see, that now that is a, what they call a, techn a technical issue. See, that's where wisdom comes in, right? So when we look at the Bible in an overstanding way, these terminologies that might seem a little bit archaic and quaint and, and assumed to be just metaphors and similes, they come to life when we know, Right? When we know, when we have the science or the scientia, right? That's the word for science right there, scientia. So it says knowledge in itself or science in itself is potestas, is authorization. You see, so when you understand the science, right, you are authorized because the great author and the finish of our faith is Yeshua, is God. So you have an authorization. Now, there are authorities because they have the knowledge. They have the science. So it's not information. You have information about these authorities, and you might have information about their science and technology, but you just can't do what they do because you don't know the half of the story that has not been told. So that's what you have to find. And this statement actually is attributable Knowledge is power to Francis Bacon. 
So when people be talking about, oh, knowledge is power, tell them no. The statement is, for knowledge in itself is power. And go find out what that means. All right? Shalom, Rastafaris, Wendem Yadam. This is Ras Iadonis reporting for the Lion of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty.